Grace and peace to you and God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Season 9 of Guerrilla Christianity. My name is Pastor Brett Walker, and I'd like to thank you for listening to Guerrilla Christianity, an unconventional, no apologies exposition of God's grace from an evangelical Methodist point of view. Today is Sunday, and it's time for our lectionary readings of the week. Good morning, and praise be to God on this 22nd Sunday after Pentecost, October 24th, in the year of our Lord, 2021. These are the lectionary readings for Proper 25, Lectionary Year B. I will be reading from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. The Old Testament Lesson, the Book of Job, Chapter 42, Verses 1 through 6, and Verses 10 through 17. Then Job answered the Lord, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you, and you declare to me. I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore I despise myself, and repent in dust and ashes. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then there came to him all his brothers and sisters, and all who had known him before. And they ate bread with him in his house. They showed him sympathy and comforted him for all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And each of them gave him a piece of money and a gold ring. The Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. And he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a 1,000 yoke of oxen, and a 1,000 donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters. He named the first Jemima, the second Keziah, and the third Karen Hapuk. In all the land there were no women so beautiful as Job's daughters, and their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his children and his children's children four generations. And Job died old and full of days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Psalter reading, Psalm 34, verses 1 through 8 and verses 19 through 22. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried, and was heard by the Lord, and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord rescues them from them all. He keeps all their bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil brings death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen and Amen. The Epistle Lesson The Book of Hebrews, Chapter 7, Verses 23-28 through 28. Furthermore, the former priests were many in number, because they were prevented by death from continuing in office. But he holds his priesthood permanently, because he continues forever. Consequently, he is able for all time to save those who approach God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. For it was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, undefiled, separated from sinners, and exalted above the heavens. 
Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. This he did once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints as high priests those who are subject to weakness, but the word of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel Lesson The Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. They came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him on the way. This is the word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This has been the lectionary readings for the 22nd Sunday after Pentecost. Be blessed today in your worship to God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us for the weekly lectionary readings on Guerrilla Christianity. The Revised Common Lectionary is a methodical reading through the Bible in three years and includes readings from the Old Testament, Psalms, Epistles, and Gospels. My prayer is that this reading will bless you in your worship as it blesses me. And God has also blessed me by calling me to serve two churches in Salem County, New Jersey, Ebenezer United Methodist Church in Auburn and Hudson United Methodist Church in Pettertown. And if you live in the area and don't have a faith community of your own, I'd like to invite you to join us on Sunday mornings. Ebenezer meets for worship at 9 a.m. and Hudson meets for worship at 10.30. We are Bible-believing, gospel-preaching, Christ-adoring congregations in the heart of New Jersey's farmland. And we also have Bible study during the week. Of course, if you don't live in the area, get involved with the church where you are. We are not called to be Christians in isolation, but in community. So I would encourage you to live out your faith with a group of like-minded believers where you are. Keep learning, keep growing, and I pray you will join us for Guerrilla Christianity again. Until then, remember this, Christ died for you. Now go live for Christ.